Now it looks solid. For the moment, anyway. So let's try this again. Welcome, everyone. Twitchy Tuesdays with Simorgu. So I had a little bit of blip there with Twitch. Seems to be working better now. Uh, don't go red. It dipped into the yellow there a minute. I'm gonna let it run for just a little bit. See if it uh, get remains stable ish or if it goes back down to where it shouldn't be. Hey, Moosey Pants. So if anybody sees any issues, let me know. Um, at the moment, this doesn't look too bad. Uh, we do have storms here, so... Don't know how to do Oh, there it goes. I'm getting a little bit of drop frames now. So... And there they go. They start spiking. Darn it. Yep. Eleven percent. What are you doing, Twitch? I don't understand what's going on with Twitch. Well, if it's really unwatchable, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to proceed and hopefully it's good enough. So I am running my... Oh, I just missed that spies group. Darn it. Um, nothing really going on here. If I could have gotten in that spies group, I would have done that. But since I can't, I'm actually going to go switch characters. So, hold on a second, let's see what this does. Hopefully, it'll settle down. It'd be good for us. Hopefully, when I say log out, DDO will understand that I mean log out. No, I'm still getting blips. Why am I getting blips on a static screen? That doesn't make any sense. Finally. I'll switch back over to Shaw. And I'll solo some stuff to start out with. We'll look for groups later. So on Thelanus, if anybody cares to join. Um, last week was solo. I've got my bar to 27, haven't touched my rogue, Shaw here is 25 at the moment, should be able to get to 26 pretty easily, so let's do that first. Uh, let's see what else I need to do here, why am I not in stance? That's weird. Usually in stance. I want to start with House D today. Yep. So let's see, personal news. Told you character news, not much there, just a couple levels. Nothing drastic. Oh, yes, there is something drastic that I'll have to show off later. I completely forgot about that. Go back to my bank and show that off. 
Let's run spies real quick. Since I missed the LFM, I'll just go ahead and do it this way. My bard actually went into Thunderholm and uh, started to get some of the XP that way. Have a coupling, it's not really enough to do anything with, but it's a start. I'm still using the Mutineer's Blade on Bard, which has been doing fairly decently. Actually, reigning Legendary Dreadnought, cap that out. Have a better appreciation for uh, Master's Blitz now, which I never really run before. Even with Shaw, I didn't really run it. Oh, well, part of that was the old way it used to work. But oh, that was almost a bad jump. Jump without, yeah, feather fall. Redid the spells, my bard, make that a little bit more logical. I plan on keeping my bard at 28 in favor farming, which I've been doing some favor farming. Whoa, that was a nice little lag. And uh, I did a little bit of favor farming. I think going pretty well. Uh, bard has enough. Reflex save to get through most of the traps, so it's not a big deal. I don't have trap skills. And, uh, hello. It's really nice to lag like that. Oh, maybe it's my connection then. Maybe I should reboot the router. But that'll be a 15 minute gap if I do that, so I don't really want to do that if I can avoid it. I did not reboot the router today before streaming. Things have been working, so I don't know what all of a sudden happened to have everything be sketchy now when I start streaming. New graphics driver, maybe. over to where the thing is so I get the thank you. And I ran this the other day with a pug and didn't quite understand how that worked. Um, due to the leader not saying anything until near the end of the quest like, oh yeah, we need to get all the breakables for Vandal bonus. Well yeah, I'd been doing that, but I had to skip over the electric first electric floor there, so I didn't do the necromancer bit, so I didn't smash anything there, and uh, evidently no one else did either. So we couldn't get it because no one got that part of it. I'm like, if you wanted that, you should have said something or done it yourself because you cleared that part. Just weird. They skipped a lot of stuff in here. I was confused why they did that. I know some people say, you know, they skip the first couple things and say, hey, last person in, you get the prisoners or something so that we can just barrel through the rest of this and clear it for you. But, you know, that lets people that come in late not have to worry about missing a lot of the stuff. Just personal preference, I guess. Uh, my bard's a bard. 20 bard. 
I plan on running it, but I didn't see any groups up that I wanted to go in, and I'm still not okay with soloing at level yet. I'm still under geared quite a bit, so. I plan on getting the uh, orchard gear to start off with, and that'll be okay while I'm farming Destiny XP, or Karma, whatever you want to call it. And hello, Miller Brockman. How's it going? Ah, I got danced. So I did. I also rebuilt it along the lines of the um, what's that build called? Kenny Monte Cristo. So I rebuilt it along, along the lines of Kenny Monte Cristo yesterday, and that seems to be doing a little bit better now. Um, I had just been. Fafran with whatever I'd, I'd picked. So it's mostly Swashbuckler with the some enhancements to the DCs of Enchantment, I think. Based off of that build. Nothing. Didn't get any of that. On the forums, there's a build called Carnival Mario Cristo that I followed. And yeah, Shaw Spuckler, like I said. Mostly, but then it has some enhancements to other things. Basically, the DCs of dancing spells, I think, is what it does. Excuse me. I did change a few things. I didn't go exactly follow the build, but followed the most of it. Here in a minute, uh, when I get a break, probably at the top of the ladder there, by the last prisoner. I'll. Uh, I love killing people with my trip. That's hilarious. I trip you to death. I'll go post the link. I know I have it up. Oh, one of my browsers here. Oh, that's handy. Meteor strike went off behind me as I was running over here. Yeah, 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 crippling it, whatever. Guys, you're me jerks, huh? Okay, you be jerks. Then. We'll fix this. I'll still get the valve. You hear a woman's voice. Let me finish rescuing Kalon. Then I will loot and look up that link. So, just so it's in here, here's the character I'm running now, more or less. And the bard I was talking about is this one. That's not exactly like that. I took some different things in there. Um, because I didn't follow the build to begin with, I didn't have all the feats in alignment to do, like, throw the needle. I don't have precision, so I can't do that. Uh, and there was something else that I did differently. Oh, I think under Spell Singer, I took one in Scroll Mastery 3 and Willful 2 instead, or something like that. I did little tweaks like that, but for the most part, I took those enhancements. My spells are slightly different. I didn't take Hypnotism or Grease or Merfolks, although I may switch 
more folks in for something that I do have. Just handy utility spells like that. Sometimes I don't... I mean, I've got water breathing everywhere, but I've come to appreciate being able to cast that stuff and not have to switch gear. For example, my bard has Feather Fall on boots, and Alice has Fortification on boots, which means I have a choice between Fortification and Feather Fall, which is not an ideal swap. Um, so, yeah, little things like that. I may need to tweak still. That was a decent uh, jump. I could actually see what was going on. I think I have a much better reflex save too on my bard, which is nice. My reflex save here on Shaw is about minimally survivable. For epics. It's also fun as I'm playing the epic elite with that bard, and I find I'm fairly survivable um, as long as I don't get too much aggro, but because I have so much dodge, I can displace myself, I've got incorporality. It's a lot easier to survive stuff um, on EE. Of course, that's only in parties, and I've had to go back and be healer a couple times. Um, what do we do? Fleshmakers? Yeah, in Fleshmakers, I had to be primary healer, uh, keeping everybody up. That was. We were also short minis, so it wasn't a lot of people, it was like two or three people. But it helped a lot for me to have a lot of scrolls. I went through like 40 or 50 scrolls of healing, a couple raised dead or res scrolls. But it was nice to have that flexibility that I can switch over to that if I need to. So that was a fun part of it. And of course, just like Monk, I love the run speed of bar pure bard with that burn speed boost stuff. It's awesome. Plus I can haste myself, so I'm always running fast. Just a good time. Definitely enjoying it. Oh, I ran my 40th shroud the other day with Balloon Guy on this character, so I got another Essence of Cleansing, which I have not used. I haven't used my previous one either. I haven't gotten around and doing that because I mean I'm sticking in epics and that gear is great for lower levels, but in epics it kind of dies off a bit. I have to create a new item to shoot into my level 20 set or something. Playing. Took advantage of the XP bonus. Got a couple first time Epic Elite bonuses on some quests, so I feel like my bard hasn't run that many quests, but really shot up quickly due to all that. Gonna come here. I mean, sure, can just lob stuff from over there, huh? Sit down. I probably won't get the. Because I missed the uh, breakables by the optional chest, I didn't want to slow down for those, so I'll only get the 8%. 
not the 10. Yeah, that's okay. Do 7k in 15-ish minutes isn't bad. It's a good way to start. See, so this is my primary character. I've got a couple others up here in epics, and I'm, then I've got a static group character, which is level 19. Our static group is moving nights, so I might be on streaming on Thursdays. We'll see what the group wants to do. Um, we're going to have Thursdays as just a general guild night, and depending on what people feel like, I might stream some of that. I don't know. But our static group is moving to Sundays. So it'll be interesting to see how we change things. See, has anything? Yeah, frame rate seems to have stabilized a bit. Still got 13, 14 percent drop frames. So there might be some hiccups here and there, but hopefully it's coming through fairly well. If nothing else, the VOD should be fine. At least I hope so. What is with all the crippling shots today? They really hit me hard. I have to go back to tripping people next time, get the improved trip and all that. So since I've epic reincarnated this character so many times, I tend to just do whatever I feel like as far as feats. I take the basic slashing and all that stuff, but That's a nice one. And another one. What's the other one? Devour is reaping. Greater Vorpal Double Strike Hemorrhaging. Wow, that's cool, dude. Some fun stuff. What my guildies got. I'll show off my new item in a bit. Because I got something the other day that was really unexpected. Running something I run fairly often, just got that drop and I was like, uh, what? Did I really just get that? Yep, I did. This will be fun to show that off. But of course, it's a really useless item for me right now. So it would under center me. But if I did my build slightly differently, it'd probably be useful. I don't know. I'll have to see. In any case, I have it, so that's something off my list I don't have to worry about looking for. I did some form farming for the uh, planar gird the other day with my bard, because I found it was really quick and easy once I got used to how to do that stupid quest again solo. I did it solo before, but it's been a while, so I had forgotten exactly how to do it. I made a couple mistakes the first time or two I was running it. The other nice thing about favor farming on a bard with all that run speed is that you get through stuff quickly. Hey, Cordovan, how's it going? No, 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 get off of that stupid pipe. I 
Get off the stupid pipe. Really? Rats? Speaking of rats, we were putting a new rat cage together today, and oh my god, it's big. It's like five or six feet tall. It's huge. This last bit traps here. Get this level and get to switch axes. I do miss my uh, epic past lives, though, on my other characters. The free healing, the double strike, positive spell power, all that stuff's nice. Orange. It should be orange. Alright guys, let's send a couple of you out. I don't want to go in the final boss room with a red alert. There we go. That's a little bit better. The tower's exterior teems with pirates, screaming the infamous Crimson Moon, flagship of Captain Chu's head, filled the sky with menace. If you could destroy the airship, then the pirates would be stranded in the tower. Only a couple guys. Yeah, I'll be able to do that. Let me finish this, go back to the airship, and do one thing. And then we'll figure out what we're doing. Do you still want to do the Vaughns?
do, 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 do. Ah, oh, there he is. He finally wants to come fight. I'm trying to figure out which character I want to do that on. I think my rogue. Probably. Throw off my new item, and then I guess go over to the rogue. I don't know what is up with Twitch today. Again, it's being weird. I guess I'll have to do both reboot the router and the laptop every week before I do this. Maybe reboot the other laptop as well. What else would be consuming bandwidth at the moment? There's not much else on. The SO's at work, so there shouldn't be too much else. Just till that feather fall on, what the heck? So, I was running something the other day. I was running Vaughn 5.6 the other day on my bard. And we got to the epic chest, and I opened it up. And I'm like, hey, that's a bound to. Oh my god. I got the shard. And then I was all bummed because I got it on my bard. And Gilly's like, oh no, that's bound to account. Oh look, it's bound to account, so I can give it to Shaw. So now Shaw has an epic sword of shadow. I got the sword itself in a roll a while back, like three, six months ago. But uh, yeah, I got the shard, so I have an ESOS. I was amazed. Obviously, I'm a great axe user, so it doesn't help for that regard, but at some point, I'll have rolled up a great sword user and be able to do that. So, yeah. That was amazing, amusing. I was so happy. So happy. So let's go over to another character. Could do far. Nah, I don't want to play VAR. At the moment. Where am I? Oh, I know where I am. And Twitch still isn't behaving, is it? Not really. Don't know to do about the quality. I don't know if it has to do with the storms in my area or my modem or my router or Twitch. Something is being funky today.
So this is my rogue. At some point I'll probably do the whole um, put the other character builds up or something, but for now. It's an assassin rogue. Halfling. Twenty-two at the moment. We were doing IQ stuff last in the guild. All right, I should be ready to go. Anytime you want to finish search, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah, I don't see myself playing on Lamani at all this time. Oh, there's a. Group. So I found for a first lifer that my bard is much more survivable than Shaw was at, for, at that level. My bard isn't really that well geared, but just because of the dodge and displacement and such, and the higher reflex save, it's just a lot more survivable. What am I wearing at the moment? Deadly resistance. Okay, that seems like a good idea. That's one thing about my bard, though. It's almost as bad as my sorcerer for having to buff before doing anything. It just takes a while. I was just about to assassinate him. It's only a bad thing about running my assassin. Even with the run speed boosts to sneaking, it's still very slow. Assassinate off cooldown, some distraction. See ya! Get the optional guy over here. I don't know if I can solo him, but we'll figure it out. I do have that. You wanna be a jerk? You can be a jerk. You're still not gonna hit me for a while. Not for five, six more seconds, maybe? No, 17 seconds. That's the time we're looking. Yeah, but you know. Oh, 
I almost had him all by myself. There's that whole ninjas being able to run in wet rice, rice paper thing, and you know. You'd figure. The best thing about the halfling heels, there's no delay on the lowest level one. Guarded by a well groomed bugbear and a host of trollish enforcers. You're an expert, right? You've got all these all this training and sneaking, you should be able to do it fast. Titans take care of them. We'll aggro the rest of these guys. Let's see, do I have a diplomacy or bluff? Let's try diplomacy. Nope. Ha! I didn't think that would work. 31 bluffs enough, all right. Gotta get like haste or something. Thought I had a speed item on. Hmm. Didn't seem right that I should be wearing my feather falling item still. I wanna say one of these rings I should be wearing instead. Is that lock pickable? I don't remember trying to pick any of these locks. Nope. You use uh, blinding speed? Or when you get to epic levels? Probably not. Because I'll have... Let's see, Charisma 5, Diplomacy... That's just resistant G fire. I don't know if that's what I want, but... Whatever, good luck is always useful. Nothing else is. I'll probably use the bracers that give you, uh, or boots or whatever they are that give you all that speed. Man, that's fun. It's just starting to work out the whole low blow coup de gras thing with the bard. That combination is new to me because I didn't have low blow before. Those? Is it on the boots? Oh, it is on the boots, yeah. Oh, I saw the Mythic Helm drop the other day, by the way. Fortunately, not for me, but somebody got it. Time to fight. Gladiators in ready room one. Get moving. Rogan, the promoter, shouts, We have a last minute team for today's bloodbath. All the way from Stormreach. Angry howls erupt from the crowd. No reason to worry. Russia's kobolds and the Mudwallow ogres are hungry for blood. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, and hi Ziggy Jester. How you doing today? I still don't know how to do uh, the prisoner, though. So. You don't know how to do prisoner? In the maze room, though. So. Oh. 
Just use left hand rule. Or right hand rule if you prefer. Whichever. I can usually get two of the runes for the maze. It's the third one I have a problem with. I get lost to the third one. But hey, at least I can disable the traps. Their luck has run out. The horns of fury and the maelstrom princes have slain hundreds of their kind. This will be the shortest fight we've ever seen. Let the ah, my ship buffs are gone. Oops. I should have rebuffed. I haven't tried mechanic really. I don't remember what I had before we redid my character a couple months ago, but ever since I've redone my assassin here a little bit, it's been a lot of fun to play. And gear is so important, so very important. I was horribly undergeared, and uh, client side, I think it was, gave me bunch of gear and it helped so much so much easier to play now and I'm in fact I'm still using that gear from level 15 16 even though I'm in epics I want to assassinate him ah, I missed both went for a two for and I missed both of them nope nope come back here come back here there we go I always get turned around for there somewhere. There remains one warrior with the strength and cruelty to avenge the fallen heroes of Parashkarina. Is it dead Hartley unbeaten and his sidekick and his three wolves? Oh man, it is. How'd I know that? Hello. Sneak attacks. Welcome to all the sneak attacks. Although you're resisting all my drains. All my poisons. And the promoter is dead. Haha, <laughs> I got him. Where's my treasure bag? My key. Get my loot one way, get my loot the other way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also a little bit out of practice with this character, so. I haven't run it in a couple weeks. Need to get back into the whole assassination habit. The loot and the loot and the loot. I'll get right. about the epic cast in here, in the middle room. Yeah, I'll get it. I got some fools to kill. For crappy loot. Yay, crappy loot. So, our last guild night on Thursday, we did Enter the Kobold. And wow, that was tough. We had something like 50 some deaths. So I was thinking about um, I could do a uh, Shalana build next life on this guy. Yeah, if you want, there's nothing special about that build. 
kind of like the fighter uh, splash there. Yeah. Oh, you're going to rebuff, aren't you? So I ended up on the guild night. My monk was dying left and right, so I went up out to the auction house and bought a fire absorb and a fire resist item. Equipped those, then went back in, and that helped a lot. And then we finally got to the whole, okay, I'm going to tank, you need to heal me, and not worry about fighting, just heal me. And finally we won doing that. Then since I had the aggro, the wizard was able to get dots on the boss, and it just went a whole lot smoother after that. It was just until that point we were just sort of... Because, you know, the whole time we've been... We've been doing every quest in the game at level elite or where possible. And there were some raids and other stuff we didn't quite finish, but the quests we have. And for the most part, we walked right through them, no problem. So we got kind of complacent, and then we hit... You know, the cold bolt. Well, actually, we failed uh, Prey and the Hunter first. We were short manned. We were missing two people. Because the SO hadn't got home yet, and then all that. Yeah. Exactly. But, you know, in DDO, you don't really have to do that most of the time. Yeah. But some of those quests are difficult enough that you really have to fall back into those roles. You need somebody taking primary damage that is healed so they stay alive and keep the, everybody off everybody and all that stuff. It was just a lesson, you know. Go back to the old school MMO thing and do it. Beautiful elf maiden sits by the fountain, lost in thought. Yeah, I think more in raids. I like them. I feel like in most quests, unless they're particularly difficult bosses, you don't really worry about it. But in raids, it's more handy to do that. Nice assassinate. Yeah, the, I had a healbot cleric that was I just hated to play. I recently respect him into doing some light damage, so maybe it'll be more fun to play next, but I haven't really got him out since I've done that, so we'll see. Ah, uh, hate these things. Phase shifting spiders. So I was fully healing spec, and I could heal, but that's all I could do. Couldn't hit worth a darn. It wasn't really fun to play, especially since I, that character is sort of a part of a duo with the SO. I don't usually do much else. Let's see, am I still wearing Featherfall? I'm not wearing Featherfall. Featherfall is this one. See how lucky I am here. A beholder roars, hungry for slaughter and ready for a fight. Nope. No assassinate. I guess I don't have sealed soul yet. That's too bad. Because that would be handy right now.
I would like some of my negative levels to wear off, please. Take care of the oozes. Our Lord decided to join the fun, that's cool. Oh, and a mentor shaman. How about that? Ah, there we go. That helps. That should have been assassinate. I guess I am three levels down. And more traps and more traps. Oh, there you are. Hi. I thought I found all the traps. Oh yeah, we're going to do the uh, Temple of Elemental Evil at level. We didn't say we're going to do it on Elite. We're going to do like level 7s. Let's see what happens. Because I've been through it once. So I did it on the stream, but um, most of the people in the guild have not done Temple of Elemental Evil yet. So they want to try it. Ah. If I can get up there. I don't have enough jump for that, really. There we go. Down to two, I know. Assassin. Kazlin143, hello, greetings, how you doing? Where's the box on this one? There it is. And of course, I find the traps with my face. <laughs> yep. That's on here. You find them, I disable them. Here's the rune. This character's first life. Pure first life. First time being epics, only epic level, well, epic 22, two epic levels. <laughs> Love that. Oh, there's Gemini. <laughs> oh, it's me. He's good about uh, stopping on time. I just had issues with Twitch again. Let's check that real quick again. Oh, good, it's down. Maybe it's settled down. Hey, I Gemini. Getting a bunch of drop frames and all that. What the actual heck was that? Ha! 
besides being hilarious, what was that? Wow. I was con you see what I was killed by? I was killed by invisible volume trigger. That's amusing. Ah, uh, why didn't that copy? Copying from game is so weird sometimes. There it is. That's hilarious. Well, there you are. <laughs> Evidently, you killed me by triggering the boss too early before I was there. Maybe your naked levels didn't wear off. Looks uh, like they're off. Yeah, Kaslin. It seems like a lot of people have taken time off from DDO and come back to it. Let's see. Is it there? Where do you jump off on this one? I forget. It was over there, wasn't it? I think that's it. Uh, where's my feather fall? Well, oh, that's not that. I'm supposed to jump over there, aren't I? That looks better. Yeah, I know I took a couple breaks myself from the game and all that. It wouldn't surprise me, Gemini. Hey, Virtual Gib, how's it going? You got all this side? Do we have everything? No, we don't have the golden locket. Why don't we have the golden locket? One place I don't know that we've gotten is over here. Still need the uh, the golden locket. Hey, four NZ Kiwi, how's it going? NZ Kiwi, excuse me. Is that the one that's up here? I don't remember what's where. Well, they just changed assassins to assassinate works with dex or int. So this is actually a dex based assassin, um, which is how I built it. I built it with dex originally for the saves. And uh, happily. I've been through there. They just made the change so that uh, you can use decks for assassinate. So it's awesome. Okay, so you got this one. I got that one. All right, which one's the locket? Ah, oh, I went the wrong green again. Whatever. So we don't have it, so we can't... Okay. So we did that. That's fine. We looted... Oh, the one with the boulder over here. I didn't loot the chest. Did. It's not open. <laughs> That's hilarious. It was over here. <laughs> You've got the locket. A shadowy apparition materializes the rage of inner turmoil.
Well, if you count Divine Caster, if you count Paladin, Paladin's early survival. I've yet to play a favored soul. I've yet to play a paladin. What a bunch of junk. I've yet to play a wizard. I've yet to play a, well, I have an arcane archer, so I can't say I haven't played a Yeah, I need to my XP for my Primal Karma. I haven't played a druid yet either. And yet, all this time, I didn't have my uh, mythic emerald guard helm on. And that's my strength item. Huh? Well, I died, so I'm going to go repair real quick. Yeah, I have a... Uh, I rolled a... Uh, what do they call it? Pale Trapper. But I haven't played him yet. That's that's the great thing about so this the game. Is the Jungle of Trapper? Yeah. The great thing about this game is how flexible you get all these races and class combinations and multi-classing and you can play all sorts of different stuff. It keeps the game fresh and exciting, I think. It's a lot more fun than being stuck into one thing. And then you can reincarnate and do it all over again slightly differently. Which is really what my main my main character is a uh, 18 fighter 2 monk. Um, whoa. <laughs> and you know that's another way to do it too I mean most of mine are well I don't say most now because I don't remember all my the ones I play you know I've got a 20 sorcerer I've got a 20 red I've got a 20 bard I've got a 19 monk and then I've got a uh 18 fighter 2 monk and then I've got some other weird weirder stuff but I mostly play you know singles single classes just that's how I started seeing how what the different classes were like you know you don't have to be a min maxer depending on what you play you can survive which is about anything in a group when you get down to soloing, epics is a first life or epic elites, then you gotta think differently. But there's a lot of stuff that works, even if it isn't optimal. I mean, I'm surprised I got my bard to epics with the crappy level. I had some level 6 gear on still at level 20. I mean, that's how bad my gear was. Granted, it was a pure party tune. I didn't. I hate that. I hate tune party character. I didn't uh, solo, but you know, that was that's my bank character, really. The whole point was to be my bank character, to hold favor in case a new unlocks, and uh, craft. That was the purpose to that character. So... I invested heavily into songs and buffing, and that was my use of the party. Some healing. I haven't played a mechanic, but I tell you, properly geared assassin is a blast to play. It is so much fun. Yeah, I think speed, lack of speed is worse than feather fall or water breathing. Underwater action, I mean. This inevitable is a that was it's totally a assassinated. Featherfall... There's a couple places where it's like necessary to make jumps. 
two million hundred thousand cap. But for the most part, you can get by without feather fall and still problem. survive at least. A group of drow ambushers in the next room howls a battle cry. The ill stride must be determined to fight you and the inevitable at once. Uh, I don't really so solo with my uh, rogue, so. There weren't two boxes? I thought there were two boxes. Yeah, that's the other one. No trap there. I'm a fairly conservative player, so if I don't have experience soloing at that class or whatever, I don't tend to solo much to like get to where I feel comfortable with it, so I'm starting to get more comfortable just playing this character. So I, I might try some solos. I need an orange named cool. Probably, I tried. I'm about to the point where I can probably solo some elites with my bard. I have a better idea of how to do things, how to get through combat, keep my buffs up, heal when necessary, which abilities use when. Although, I have to tell you, in Legendary Dreadnought, there are so many clickies. It's wild. I think I'm on into Shirati now, though, on my bard. So. Well, there's some stuff up. Yeah, I heard the people saying P5 Rats a really interesting build to use. That one doesn't appeal to me that much for some reason, I don't know. Probably do one of those weird uh, monk thief hybrids for that if I did that. Oh, come on. Why did I miss that assassinate? Oh, hello. You're laying down. You should die quick. You gonna face tank or you gonna wait for me to disable it? This one hurts if you don't have evasion. Yes, they have, um, if you go light, you've got the uh, triple light finisher, which is handy. You can heal yourself with that, but that's not going to be enough sometimes. That's the only problem I have with my monk is, yes, I can heal myself with my light attacks and uh, Light finisher, but sometimes that's just not enough. <laughs> you stand amidst a scene of terrible slaughter. Yeah. Well, that's true, pretty much every class. UMD rules if you want self healing so you can do heal scrolls and such. You see signs of ancient architecture in the halls ahead. I just have a hard time getting enough UMD to be useful on anything but my bard at the moment. I'm slowly getting there on my rogue. But it takes a lot of investment to get through that stuff. Oh, I missed assassinates twice? Come on. They were just sitting there. 
He didn't see me. Should have totally worked. See, I like the idea of the deck space assassin, which is what I'm playing now. Just flavor wise, it's interesting. Yeah, that's true too, Gemini. But it's definitely, if I get in trouble, it's hard to heal on my monk for enough to make a difference if I'm really in trouble. I tend to be a lot more zergy than the rest of the group, so I tend to get ahead and then in trouble and die sometimes, just that quick. Like a champion will be out there. Oh crap, a champion. Oh, dead. Never mind. Easton Morgan, check out this axe I found. It's pretty nice. Hmm. Paralyzer. See, I've never used, really used a paralyzer or deception item on anything except this rogue. Because it makes sense to me on a rogue. Paralyze, sneak attack, deception, sneak attack. It makes sense on a rogue. Other classes, I just don't see the use of it as much. Yeah. Because I, you know, I run so fast as a monk that, plus, you know. Wizard casts haste on me and I'm I'm gone. I can self cast expeditious retreat. So yeah, I'm just gone. I'm a rogue. I must pick up the gems. It's handy when you know you need to go fetch somebody or help somebody through something, but if you're already a Zerger and then you get uh, I got the key, by the way. A, he a head like that, then uh, grab that real quick. I'm going to check my text messages because I keep, keep hearing stuff go off. And it would be something important. Oh, nice. They brought Pete's into the SO's work. So that's nice. Yes, Flood, Thunderstorm, watch, I get it. There's weather. Depends on what you want to do, because... Oh, hi, balloon guy. How's it going? So, when I do... I just feel like killing stuff. I like my fighter. Because it's simple. So, fighter, barbarian, something like that. Because it's nice and simple. Just go kill. Nothing to it. You ah, have nice. Negative levels. Very few thing triggered abilities. Someone gave me some uh, restore There's not much to worry about. You just go and swing in, and that's about it. Hey, balloon guy. So that's why I like that kind of play style. Um, Monk is a blast play. A little bit trickier. You have to manage your elementals and finishers, all that stuff. Fighter, self heal? No. Barbarian, self heal. Fighters suck in some ways. Oh, a whole monster. That's not good. Let's see if I can paralyze him back. Nope, just kill him. There's one up there. Did you mention Warlock is going to come out in DDO soon? No. Um, so, Bard, now that there's Swashbuckler, is kind of a middle ground because you, you could me melee a new class in DDO and then uh, 
So because of the Twitch the, delay, it's really know, annoying to, to have uh, somebody talking over me while I'm trying to talk. So, um, <clears throat> I'd say Bard is sort of a middle class because you have casting, but it's mostly buffing. Um, you can go enchantments for crowd control and some sonic and stuff, but you can go swashbuckler and have mostly melee, so that's a good mix there. And then, uh, yeah, that's one way to put it. Rogue, of course, is, has your uh, trapping, which is really handy. I would think you probably solo on a bard. Um, properly built. I didn't because, as I said, my bard wasn't properly built for soloing. It was built to be a bank character and then party buffing. Help with the party, like that heal and stuff. But I think you can probably build it such that it would be survivable on its own. It might not be good first life or without some twink gear. Um, like the Cove Buckler and such. But it's doable. I haven't played Favorite Souls. Um, I would not play Wizard or Sorcerer as a newer player for sure. I, I don't think they're good starting out. They're too fiddly with managing spell components and your inventory space and your buffs and your aggro and your spells and all that. That's true. Um, I had a lot of pl fun playing Artie. Artificer. Artificer. They're fun to play too. Especially at lower levels, once you get the turret, get your pet out, get your turret going, and it's fun. It really is a lot of fun to play that. Yeah. Ah, held. Hold me, Mr. Beholder, hold me. I'm scared. Come on, you jerk, die. Well, that's how it always is, right? Whoever got the update last is the most overpowered, usually. This great hall is flanked by towering um, Druid, I haven't played yet, but. Chose a dramatic battleground for her last stand against the inevitable. Yeah, see, I tend to play on one server so I can pool my resources and all that. I don't like playing on multiple servers, necessarily. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of really powerful druids. Yeah, that sucks too. If you're playing with people on one server and they all don't come back, I understand that. I'm lucky that I found this guild that's really casual and friendly and supports you know leaving for two years and coming back. Like, oh hey, welcome back. You wanna run something? They kicked some of my characters out because they didn't know it was me, but it was cool. Well, obvious choice for Bard is the uh, one that's Charisma-based. And Favorite Soul's Charisma-based, too, so get the Charisma-based Iconic, and then you've got it all Charisma, right? That's the... Which one here? I can't even think about the top of my head. Yeah. 
Yeah, PDK. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of options. I have yet to actually play an Iconic. Um, I plan to TR this person into a... Shader Kai, of course. Get my three Rogue Pass lives. All right, now we do the fun one. The Funyun. I hope I already have taken it. We'll find out. Yeah, the Shade Archive should be fun for my rogue to TR into. I have not done a heroic TR yet. I've only done epics and only on my main character. So it'll be interesting to see. Yep, got it. All right. Let's do this thing. Haywire's place, get all the traps, do all the stuff. This should be fun. Yeah, that would be an issue. See, I really like epic level. I don't like heroic as much, so I'm okay with that. Because I have more fun in epics outside of, say, the static group. The static group was fun, but that was for a different reason. I think that static groups are a fun way to play through heroics. I would love to just get on a TR train and do that thing, but that's how some of my characters got leveled so nicely, is I got on a TR train here and there. I was able to just follow that for a while and get a bunch of levels. But yeah, with pop server population being lower and not as many options for groups, it can be tough sometimes to level those characters that need yeah Gemma that's my problem with the higher level heroics too I've done most of the epics outside of say storm horns um, and the demon web stuff which I don't really care for um, I've run a lot of the in the houses I guess you can count to Underdark in there too. I don't do that. Yeah. So people are going for completionist and just speedily leveling. It's good if you can get on there and get a character up quickly and say, okay, let's try let's see how this works and maybe try another build next time and do it a different way. But the epic past lives are so much more powerful. I like staying up in epics and doing those. And then at some point, after I get epic completionist, Either epic completions or epic triple completions. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to then I'm going to TR Shaw back to one of the iconics, so that I don't have to stay in heroics very long. Probably PDK. Oh, let me uh, let's see. Don't I have a? Yeah, there we go. Well, he's hard to see at the moment. Because he's in the, in the hammock right under the light, but that's a bearded dragon. You can see his tail down there uh, in one of his feet, back feet, and then one of his front feet, just a little bit there on the left. But yeah, that's our bearded dragon. <laughs> so, what reptile do you have? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. The SO had been working at a pet store, so 
got some nice discounts on stuff. We have just the one bearded dragon, but four rats, three cats, and a dog. And the SO actually wants a bigger tank for the dragon. Bigger, better. I think that one's fine for now. You hear the sound of Just him by himself. He doesn't need that much room to run around. A warforged worker beckons to the gate crashes shot. Yeah. Haywire spared no expense in keeping his secret. Sometimes depending on your level, even at epics, there's sometimes where I don't see groups. Like earlier there was nothing that there was groups, so there's nothing I wanted to run, so I was all Sure you aren't Titan. Sure you're not. Hey, Winterstorm, how you doing? Come on. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, I have so much fun doing that. How you doing tonight, Winterstorm? Is that a triple? I think I just got a triple assassinate. <laughs> Either that or Titan took one out while in the middle of it. That was fun. Cool. Glad to hear it. Glad you're doing well. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I'm going to do the traps over here if you want to go the other way. Was there one behind? I thought there was one behind here. Nope. Dex. Dex is 40 at the moment. My end's only 29. So, three snakes. What kind of snakes do you have? SO wants a snake. I don't. I don't really want that many pets. I don't really want, like taking care of them. That's why I used to have just the two cats, and that was fine by me. Didn't need anything else. Spent a lot of time cleaning and letting them run around and all this other stuff. Just just soon spent it doing something else. But that's me. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of skill points to spread around, that's for sure. You'd probably be really tight on enhancement points, though. Yeah, we have friends who have a snake that aren't too far away, so... Actually, I have two snakes now. And, uh... The SL will watch them when they go on vacation and stuff, so there's some experience there. As the North Wing gate lever locks into place, a freak power surge shorts out the storage area's energy barriers. I'm going to go around and unlock the other side. That's cool. Oh, that sucks. Even through your clothing and armor, you can feel the floor. Uh. 
The other side isn't. Yep, I always forget that. Yes, 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 I know. You see me, that's cool. Oh, everybody sees me now. Alright, other side is... is... not open. Not going to be open before I'm dead. Hey, that's cool. That didn't work like I thought it would. And I really have no safe place to go. Oh, getting hit from everywhere. Oh, got that heal off. That was awesome. Wonder if I can hop up here and get out of the way of some of this. I'm saved. Well, I've got all the aggro. I was trying to get that lever done, but they uh, saw me. I forgot I had to open a door first. That didn't work as well as I hoped. I don't know about weaker, but it's different. Oh, it's all those archers hitting me now. Okay, fine. Time to run. I'll run over. Oh, I got danced. I got danced. Come on, let me out. Let me out. I got danced. I'm invisible. Yeah, not happening. Jerks. I forgot about my stupid... Oh, If I would have triggered my ability, that would have helped. I keep forgetting I have that stupid... What's it called? Shadow Training 2? And... Let's see... Oh, I forgot to mess with my destiny, didn't I? Yep, I got points le left to spend. Almost a sealed soul. So yeah, if you can get this lever, I can go res myself at the shrine. Yeah, my... Uh, my sorcerer is a drow. See, that's the problem. You get there, and it's like, hey, I could be, I should be able to do this, and then they hit you with all these spells and stuff, and there we go. Uh, I'm not quite out of heals. There we go. One more trap I can get for sure. Wow, how many traps do you have to get for ingenious on this? Oh, there's more traps, aren't there? I forgot about those other ones. In that pit, in fact, are more traps. This is where it's around back, I think. That's 
why I always get mixed up. Yeah. I knew it was under one of these stairways. Well, I got tamper at least. Not quite unlocked yet. that in a second. I not do that while I'm doing this. <sighs> Man, do I have a shield anything? Do I have a shield clicky somewhere? I forgot about my visibility clicky, my position retreat clicky, which should be handy. Get up there. Thank you. So you got the... Oh, the traps in this corner up here. I bet. Are what we need to get. Give me a freaking break, come on. I need to take those guys out of there. I can't do it without with them there. The coolest thing is that the cure light or whatever this or yeah, this is cure light is so fast it has no cooldown. It's really nice. That's clear, I can actually get this. I so need shield. Ah, oh, there's two, okay. There's one here and there's one around the corner. Okay. Um. What did I take? I did the two up in fighting line. That's what I did mostly. I took the Dragon Mark of Healing to some halfling to get some self healing. Other than that, there isn't really anything. Oh, I took finesse because I'm dex based. But it's not like there's a bunch of stuff to, that you have to have. They're actually really pretty simple builds. He saw me. I missed one? Oh look, there's another box in it. Let's see. Oh yeah, then, I mean, you can use them first to save your spell points, or if you run out of spell points, then you have those them as backup, so. It can be handy to have some stuff like that extra sometimes oh, 
Ah, uh, I see. Now, seeing any other game, that would have alerted somebody else. Pretend that your drone that was right facing him when I just assassinated him. DDO, nah. You can assassinate somebody right in front of somebody else. And it doesn't matter. It's hilarious. Love it. Take up the traps over here. You can't see them until you're in the canyon. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he must have tripped and died. Broke his adamantine neck or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's not suspicious at all that he fell down right in front of me, dead. Okay. <laughs> oh. Those puppies. There we go. That's what I want you to do. Uh oh. That didn't work. This might be a fun time. Yep, it's a fun time. By fun, I mean, no, nope, not fun at all. What do you mean? I just did this. I love that 100% dodge ability. It's awesome. For the next couple seconds, nobody's gonna hit me because they can't. Gonna dodge them all. All right, Gemini, have fun. Thanks for stopping by. Sure, I'll see you in your stream later, even if I'm only lurking. You don't know it. to the puzzle, aren't I? Let's see. Purple is with a dot. So that is... Yes, I'm trying to do the wheels. Get off of me, you stupid slimes. Okay. And that is No, Titan, I muted you earlier because you were talking over me because of the delay. Mm. Let's see, purple set, blue needs to be set. 
That is that. I turned off voice because with the delay, it was causing problems. I was trying to explain something. <clears throat> you spy the master control room key. Just uh, wrong way. It's behind this guy. There we go. <clears throat> Big puppy. An iron golem guards the foundry control, joined by massive clockwork pieces. Prepare for battle. And it's all but time. This is a fun quest. Lever is blocked. I'm short. Come on. Uh, let's put an exposition retreat on. Hopefully I have enough jump to get through this. That's another thing I don't like about clerics. Clerics can't jump. That's annoying. Ever make it through two more turns. Sort of land. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice collectible to get. Rumblings from deep within the factory reverberate on the far left. Stay clear. You jerk. Going beyond range. Three minutes until self destruct. And twenty. Come on. And 20. There we go. Woot. Hey, Highwire, why'd you get in the way? You feel powerful elemental Haywire gestures to the glowing quarterstaff on the lectern. Huh, I didn't realize there's a UMD message. I almost never take the lightning rod. Usually someone else has it. And... Detour back out. Ooh, one, one through four done. Then the long, long walk. To turn it in. I think I'm going to take a short break here. Yeah, it's been two hours. I'm going to take a short break. 
get up, stretch, walk around a bit, refill my water, uh, maybe grab a snack, that sort of thing. But uh, then I'll be back and we'll be doing something else. Not sure what yet. But something will be hopefully interesting going on. I may switch over to my bar and we'll see what I feel like doing. I am going to get out of this air ship, air part. Background noise is annoying right there. Prepare my stuff so I don't forget. Oh, I need to let the cats out too. So, all right, short break here. I will be back shortly. I'll say five, ten minutes maybe. Um, thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon.
All right. Back. Yeah, we can do that. That would be fine, Titan. Switch back over to my bard. Who I now have to farm gear on. Need back to the orchard and do some more EEs. Did Fleshmaker so far, which wasn't bad. Used a lot of scrolls, but otherwise it wasn't bad. Saw the Mythic Helm, just didn't drop for me, unfortunately. And it was not up for roll. <laughs> not up for roll at all. Oh, sorry, Winter Storm, I didn't see that. So you have a older good rogue guide, that's cool, and then rogue proving ground redo. Don't know what that is. I do remember seeing somebody has a site where they went and tried to do all the quests in the game stealth killing as few enemies as possible and all that, which was interesting. I was reading some of those. Did that not happen? That did not happen. There it goes. And I do have a key, so I get to evening star quickly. Looks like Titan's still away. I believe we're going to do don't drink the water. Well, Titan, you're right there. What the heck, man? Don't drink the water, because it's foul and acidic. Burn your face off. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, I need to switch characters. I need to re switch my thinking of how I'm playing. Hold on a second. Get these buffs in. Um. Yeah, I mean, if you find a way you want to play, play that. If you want to do all stealth and stuff, then that's a perfectly viable option. Jeez, this is not my rogue. That is not stealth. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, string table errors. Gotta like... My screen's still off? Oh! 
Yeah, how about that? I forgot I switched characters and threw it up real quick. I was thinking I came off a break and my break sign was off. I made sure of that. Yep. Thanks for pointing that out. My hope is that now that the SO has a evening schedule job that I'll be able to stream more days a week. Oh, two dire bears. Ah, oh, could have didn't work. It's too bad. So then I'll be more used to all this stuff, because doing it once, maybe twice a week isn't conducive to getting in the hang of all the stuff. Don't have cocoon yet. I really want to get cocoon. Try to trip me, jerk. Nope, one more wave. I've been playing Shadowrun Online quite frequently with a friend of mine. And we're having a blast playing that. It's just a lot of fun. Completely different style of game because it's turn based, tactical. But it is a lot of fun. Oops. Well, I can revert to healing if I have to. Get this stupid tree dead, though. Let's see. Why did that not work? You're really resting right now? There we go. Low blow, coup de gras. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work. I got a 39 charisma, so I'm not doing too bad. Got charisma to hit or damage or both or something, I don't remember. Something that helps me do damage. This is becoming a lot of fun to play though. Starting to get in the down where it's fun. I find a lot of builds take some time get used to how they work. And, you know, some of them are way too fiddly with all the clickies and stuff that I don't care to do.
I like when I can fit most of my stuff on the one, my mouse thumb, basically, the 12 buttons on my mouse. If I can fit all my abilities that I'm going to be using regularly in there, then it's good. I've been redoing this, trying to figure out the best combination for me. Hopefully the current one's pretty good. Uh, let's see, I've been forgetting to use this. You see, our Shaw, my crits were like a thousand. I crit for 300 on this, but I crit supposedly more often, so it's supposed to balance out. Because I hit a lot faster. Well, I should be hitting a lot faster. I should have a lot higher attack speed. And critting more often because I have that thing where you, every time you don't crit, you are more likely to crit. Hi, Ruin. There we go, that's an 800 hit. Definitely gonna shrine here. Well, once I can. Divine Punishment, there we go. Hello. All right, a little bit of top off. I'm gonna try and get my displacement quickies. And then we're gonna buff. I always put blur and expeditious retreat so that if uh, haste and displace wear off, I've got backups. I don't have an acid resist item on here, I don't think. Or do I? I don't think I do. So this will be interesting. My acid resist is only 15. A large green dragon has made this cavern his lair. That I will probably then just let you do most of the work. The little ones promised well for this, but they said nothing of sending me off. I desperately to rush. You know, I've always told not to play with my fool. You are testing my patience, small one. I will melt the flesh from your bones. Well, as soon as I can get up and heal, I will. Not a problem. Dragons are so easy with Thunderforged weapons. So very easy. 10 minutes for 20k, not bad. I'm in Fury, that's why, not in Dreadnought. Okay, so... Repair and sell the junk right here. Oh, get these stupid things out of my way. I don't care about those. Didn't quite get a level one sure out of yet. I 
I had so many more hit points when I was running in Legendary Dreadnought because I took all those con. This bug that um, whenever I log in on this tune, my feather falling belt seems to be in my inventory and not eclipsed. It will not stay eclipsed. Weird. Yeah, I know. So back to the uh, druid chain again then? <laughs> Look how damaged it is. Yep. Love this run speed. We can do uh, EE if you want. Yeah, we should be okay on EE. Did I get more scrolls? Oh, I didn't get any scrolls. Well, I got seven res scrolls. I have no heals. Uh, I hope that won't be a problem. Enter Uth Lodge. You are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell like a weed choked garden after a rain. Bear traps are going to be deadly. Yep. Somebody's hitting me. That worked. Coup de gras plus uh, low blow cut plus coup de gras. When it works, it's awesome. Be careful. Stupid wisps. And if I can keep you alive with the mass. Your moderates, and that's perfect. Come here, jerk. Mm -hmm. 
A lithe, grey-clad figure flees deeper into the house. Friend or foe, you will likely cross paths again. So many wisps. Something rustles in the deep foliage of the room. A second movement can just be seen. That could have worked. It's not as satisfying as assassinate for some reason, but it accomplishes the same thing basically. Probably because you have two DCs. You have the knockdown DC and then you have the coup de gras assassinate kind of DC. If I get a Thunder Force Rapier, I'll be doing some more damage here. There, oh, Dave, that's not good. Come on, there we go. Making one. A rapier. It's the man in gray. Well, I'll get there eventually. Always one step ahead. Nope. Can't do it. Just not enough. Jerk. Whoa. I think I got knocked down there. Couldn't get my heel off. That's epic elite for you though. That one little bit of inattention and all of a sudden you're stone. It's doing pretty well up to that point. I think Titan still got this. Nope, maybe not. Heal, heal, heal. Nope. <laughs> not quite. Well, shoot. If only I had some heal pots. I don't think I have any cakes in this character. No, uh, I don't see any cakes. So... Wisps aren't, um... Creatures in the monster menu, aren't they? Huh? They're yeah. not those kind of creatures, are they? Yeah. Those are standard creatures, I thought. What are they under, though? Uh, I don't remember. I know in Magic they're swamp creatures, but I don't know how they relate to D&D. D &D. Oh, you mean the Monster Manual in-game? I don't know. 
I was thinking abstractly of D&D, not DDO. Um, I can't get back there because my... Alright, what if we went downstairs? Actually, I know what I'm going to do. If I time this right... Doesn't matter. You send me a ship invite. Because your ship has the old style bus, doesn't it? That'll make me more survivable. Because then I'll have the... Yeah, uh, like acid resist for the one guys, and then the lightning resist for the... Watch my ears, the wisps. And I won't wade into the middle of the wolves this time. Doing okay until that point. I just went overboard. Get kind of complacent, it's like, oh, yeah, this is no problem. I'm doing good here. Epic Elite, yeah. What with Titan tanking, I can get in there and do some damage. And then, you know, he gets surrounded by five wolves, and oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I can't handle five wolves at once. Blue buffs. There they are. We just don't keep these stocked on our ship. There's not enough people that play and long enough to use that. Thank you. Uh, my key is still not reset. So, we'll be walking. Well, mostly walking. The other good thing about the SO working at this time is that I don't have a cutoff time. Well, I do, but it's late. It's like 10.30. I don't know that I'll be streaming for five and a half, six hours, but um, three or four should be easier to hit. Yeah, nothing really up in the groups. So, let's try that again, only without the dying. Ah, I forgot to get... Don't forget your healing pots. I just forgot my healing scrolls. Is there a good scroll vendor in here? There isn't, is there? Go check it by the town. I got him. Particularly on EE, it's... Annoying when you run out of spell points. And you need to heal. And you're out of scrolls. Jewelry. Clothing. Hireling. We can get 
reagents. Let's see. Nope, it's just reagent. Spill component started. Whale, never mind then. I'll just go down over this way. It's more that way. All right, let's try this again. Really? <laughs> I find this stuff easy to solo. Some of the easiest stuff to solo on Epic Normal, so I run it quite often I'm just Gemini stream on my tablet. <laughs> to be uh you know, easy XP quickly. The druid chain is perfect for that. Especially the later ones. The earlier ones not quite so much, but later ones are pretty good. All right. As you enter Ut Lodge, you are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell like a weed choked garden after a rain. Very dangerous indeed. You go first. I want to get the uh, orchard gear, but I want to EE those first, at least once. You know what, guys? I'm going to shout at you. There we go. You, buddy. Uh, why did... Oh, I got Slate of Titan instead. That's dumb. Trying to select the champion. Yeah, you can tell we're both playing it a lot more conservative this time. I'm not going to feel the... Oh, healing debuff. That's nice. Oh, hey, Titan. How's it going? Let's get healed. I hear my phone going off, so I may have to take a quick look at that. No, I want to be healed too. Stupid wisp. Get in my way, my healing. All right, I need to go back to me. There we go. And now the healing debuff's off, so we should be good. I have not been able to get him to stick. Critting some of these guys. Something rustles in the deep foliage of the room. A second room. 
These set pieces really should be transparent and don't interfere with your targeting. I would be happy if happier in that case, because I, I like the feeling of them, but they shouldn't restrict cam and movement either. That's the other thing they shouldn't do. Ugh. I get annoyed by them. Oh, you know what else happened? I bet during that battle, my displacement probably wore off. I wasn't paying attention to my buffs. Oh, hello. Something's hitting me pretty hard. Probably the champion. It's the man in gray again. Always one step ahead. Waiting for Titan to take those guys. Back of them right at me. I'm invisible. All oh, right, you have good noses. Why isn't Kuda Grow working? This is going better. Yep. I am out of spell points. That's not good. Oh yeah, but I have Echoes of Power now. That's the other thing I didn't have earlier. Before my previous build of this character was Echoes of Power. Which is dumb not to have when you're a caster. You really need Echoes of Power. Oh, Bear Trap! Good thing nobody's on me, so it's not gonna matter. Can't do that because I don't spell points for it. That's not a good situation to be in. I would consider that less than ideal. So, it's weird that Ruin shows like it's still available even though I don't have the spell points for it. That's why I try to hit it early. Oh, I can Ruin. No, it's like 50, 75 spell points. And I have none. But it looks like you can do it. I'm gonna go ahead and rest. Oh, yeah, it was the last battle, but I'm out of spell points and I really need those. But of course you are. Danger is an old song in your song book, I can see. I need my speed boost. I yep. Am a I'm just buffing up. I came in search of a missing nobleman. Tis a long tale, but I believe the two and horses might help me find him. And I thought the master of this house might just leave to Halsey. Oh, 
Primal Scream action to go with it. Yeah, this will be going. As much by smell as by sight, it is clear that the Dryad and her tree are the source of the Vines can't see what's going on. I missed that somehow. Helping so much more. Why is that happening over there when I'm trying to do it over here? Jeez. There we go. Yay. Uth Lodge has been cleansed. Perun Uth brought this foul magic home with him from Thorngap, unawares. And where is that, you ask? Knew we were going to be able to do that. Where Hall Thane lives deep within King's Forest. Don't know why it didn't happen earlier. We should pay him a visit. Hey, Steel Render, how's it going? Dog, are you snoring? Seriously? How are you doing this evening, Steel Render? Hope you're doing well. Oh, let's do Murder by Night on Elite. Just to get it over with, so I can keep not having it pop up, not keep having it pop up. Woo, healing spring, yay. At least it's healing of some sort. Just crappy. Sounds like a fun full day. Still in temple only once. Yeah, murder by night, Titan. I've only done this one like once or twice, so I don't really remember it very well. But in order to just get it done, get it off my list, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Because I keep misclicking on it.
hospital's halls are deathly quiet. The rooms are shut or vacant. While David talks, the sun finishes setting. The night looks as though he is not feeling well. He's not feeling well. Ooh, it's a champion. First thing. That's cool. The werewolf is dead. The world passes. Then the eerie silence is broken by howls from inside. You find sick villagers huddled in the safety of their room. Please, one pleads. Get us out of here. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to kill the werewolves first and then take these guys out. Oh well. If some die, some die. As the werewolf falls, it lets out one last howl, which is answered. By more howls from the inside. The door to the outside world lies ahead. This foyer also connects the two trolleys. The first of the villagers are at the exit. But what is this? The main door is locked. Hopefully, somewhere inside the building, you can find a key. Really should have done this on my road. A commotion up ahead in the north wind. Really need to get some sonic spell power item or augment somewhere. Stupid locked doors. I may run you down with the others. Will you come down here with me? Yes, yes, you will. Okay. Just need two more. Dog, your snoring is getting kind of annoying. Hope you know that. Hey, it's a champion. He should be fine. There should be no problem there. I'm surviving. Um, there were two. Shouts suddenly issue from the priest's chambers, only to be drowned out by one chilling power, then another, and another. Ha ha, Cody got him. Perhaps the main door key is close at hand. 
something clinks against the ground. There was a key hidden in that vase. Do you need a shrine? Get the door. You have the key. As the door opens, one of the villagers cries out in pain. Some of the others look sad. Some of the others? All of the others. But they're dancing! <laughs> and crowd control works, it's awesome. The night breeze wafts through the open door. It carries a low chorus of growls. Are those eyes glowing with malice out there? So much easier. The installing that with Shaw was annoying. That is so much easier. Kind of crap I could see, but hey, you know what? It's over with now. I don't have to do it again. Now we can actually do the other one. Oh, we have to get out of that one first. But there it is, outbreak. Ah, oh, so much better. Jaskier says, take that key on the table. I forget which way it opens, I'm afraid. As the door to hospital wing swings open, moist air, reminiscent of rotting foliage, wafts in. I love how much that heals. You must have really nice helium. Need to get more of that. I 
Oh, I keep forgetting and I'm hitting healing springs if I have cocoon. I remember it's on a different number on here. Because I don't have cocoon yet. Let's so make your serious instead. Damage boost works. Some of the sample the head priest spoke of. Nearby, a key that fell from its hand lies on the floor. Looks like I got a bit of time left on my buffs. Should be fine. Ghost displacement. Getting dicey. Ah, you jumped right out of range. Darn it. I need to get heal scrolls. A plague victim bursts through the door. He seems to be in an advanced state of the infection, stronger and completely berserk. I'm out of spell points, so I can't heal. I'm out of healing spring, so I can't heal. I've got a bunch of these crappy potions. I got some better potions. Remind me to stock up on heal scrolls.
What about the wrong potions? Why did I buy so many cure lights? That's the wrong potions to buy. Ain't that many cure serious, and we're talking. Yes, thank you, Sleeping Moose. Hopefully I will see that after this and actually go do it. Yep, I am reminded, thank you. Don't take him... Ah! Oh. I was just trying to say, don't take him too far. Oh, He's going to leash. Right. And our shrine is after this. So you have to take him down first. Alright. the songs, the entire repertoire, full concert. What? I was just singing. I wasn't doing anything. Hey, if he's not doing any damage, I'll take it. Hey, get back here. Why are you following him? Get off of her. I think it was Dirge. That's probably what did it. It's the Dirge. Oh, hello. That hurt. Please tell me he's not still following me. Uh, he is. I might die. I might die. I might die. Oh crap. Guess who spawned? More stupid. Oh, a champion. That's what got me in the back. Champion Wisp. It's okay, you got it. You almost got him. If you can just finish him off. Thank you. I'm going to run and try not to get hit to open up the D door With that, Head Priest opens a door so that I can get here and rest. You go through and deal with Uth, he says. Safer that way. <laughs> go on. Do what's got to be done. That's how it tells me I'm ready for Master's Blitz, and I'm not. I don't have Master's Blitz, I'm in Shirati. Why is my Master's Blitz ready? I was to get rid of some of these while I'm waiting. The quarantine area, Sparen Uth, appears. The infection is far more advanced than him. Ah, crud. As a result, he is far He will like leash. Yeah, he'll leash. Hopefully pretty quickly if you come up here. Oh, he didn't leash yet. But he's trying... Oh, he's just trying to attack to you. Okay. We should be okay.
Yeah, there weren't many choices. Um, I don't have very many destinies done, so... I just sort of pick something, figuring I'll replace it later. You know, occasionally it's amusing to go up to somebody and go, Hey, look! Damage! Come back here and I'll do you some more damage. Ah. It really doesn't work that well. I probably should just take more charisma or something. It was just a crappy selection. All around. Ah! Bull crap. Bull crap. I hit there, Cure Serious. There's a red shine up there. <laughs> I hit Cure Serious well before that. That was bull crap. Actually, I should probably do this. I forgot about that. I forgot about curing patients this time. But the key thing is, oh well. Is safe. Did it didn't take too long. Welcome back, skunk. All the way on the other side of the city. Even with this run speed, it's a bit of a trek. That was annoying. Well, that was EE. Yep. Hey, Seymour, are you done today? Or gonna do another quest? Or? Uh, I can do another one or two. I'd like to finish the chain, but I need to go get heal scrolls. Hey, Wiseman. How's it going today? Actually, am I on timer for that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Now, let's just finish this. But I do want to get those scrolls and repaired and all that junk first. Not doing too bad at all. Almost got. My bard here to 28. Not quite over to where I can get Cocoon yet, but getting closer.
Yep, yep. Huh, another chain reward? You are all off of... I don't know how you keep doing that. Getting off of the, uh... I started the... from the beginning, too. Hmm. Well, if you take it, now you have to run the first two again. To get the chain reward at the end of the four. Uh, divine. Give me them heals. Give me them heals. And... I can use some more resurrection. Oh, that's right. You can't go over 100 in the cart, which is dumb. And we'll make this a little bit cheaper. And then we'll get... I don't know. 12 more of those. If I need more than that in one quest, then I'm doing bad. Uh, we'll lock those. Those are already locked. Grab some stuff in the bag. Nice. So then what? It's a nice place to be, but what are you going to do after that? I'm still on epic... Life 10 for Shaw. So I'm being close to the first epic completionist. Don't you get a, um, a four uh, towards the fate know. slot for epic completionist? Yep. That's what I'm going for it on Shaw. But I'm on the arcane lives on a two-handed dwarf fighter. Right, get gear set up and then wait for a cap and warlock. Let's see what you're going to do next. Okay, so uh, did I repair? Maybe? I don't know. I'm going to check the GDF forms for uh, Lamania. Oh, I look good. Get back to the new. thing. I'm about ready to go back in. I'm just mustering. I got my heal scrolls, so if I run out of spell points again, I'll at least be able to heal. What is my UMD at, anyway? Fifty-seven. That's good. Wow. Just sort of retire for a while and run them through the new content, and get the new stuff, and then repeat. I guess you've once you've done everything a couple hundred times, there's not much else you want to do in the game. Um, actually, I have to go see more of you. I have real life stuff to do. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to go. See so, yep. <laughs> Nice. Get that Warlock Pass Live knocked out. Uh, I don't see anything I really want to do here. I think I'm going to swap. Let's see. It was not available.
Tess. That was not an option. As far as I recall, because I figured that's what I would get, but it did not happen. Then again, you got to remember this is an old, old bard that w before swashbuckling. So it wasn't set up to be swashbuckler from day one. So what I need to do is use my plus 20 or something and redo it all. Actually, I just need to reincarnate or something. I don't know. I need to do something to redo everything. See if I can get it a little better, but it's to the point now where at least I can play it. So, I'm happier with that. Because I just took... Does it tell you when you took stuff? No, it doesn't. Because I think I just took greater single weapon fighting, like whatever the last epic level where you got a regular feat was. Um, I know what I can do. Let's go look at Fred. Hey, Fred. See, it's not there, it's not available. So I couldn't have taken it. Could have gotten Watchful Eye, Inspiral Excellence, a stat, Epic Will, Reputation, Reflexes, Fortitude, Damage Reduction, or Blinding Speed. So again, my choices were unimpressive. Given that my Charisma is odd, I could have gone for Charisma to even it out. But... I could have gone up a damage reduction, blinding speed, I don't think would be useful when I can get speed items. I could have gone for a regular one. But yeah, there's nothing really inspiring here as a pick. I guess Inspire Excellent would have been more in favor. Yeah. It's not really that big of a deal. I can haste myself. I'm going to get speed on the um, those epic ethereal bracers. So I'll have speed there. Didn't really seem to be compelling reason to go speed. It's an enhancement bonus. I've got speed. I've got 30% enhancements bonus already on the item I have. Yes, the 15% attack speed is a little bit better than my 8% here, but again, I'm going to replace this gear anyway. So. Yeah. That's 
that's what I was saying earlier. I don't have that many destinies done. I started in Fate Singer, and I'm trying to get over to get a Cocoon. So until I go back and fill everything else out, there's no real compelling thing to get at this level. That's why I figure I'll wait till I've capped and filled in all my destinies and then come back and probably do a hard wood or something to start over and go, okay, now now that I know where I'm, going, where I'm ending up, let's figure out the things I need to get on the way. And by the way, hi, Bonnie. How are you doing this evening? So for now, what I got is what I got. It's a first life character. It's an old style bard that I respect into being a swashbuckler. So feet choices and stat choices were suboptimal. But it was my bank character originally. I wanted to have a bard, but I didn't really want to play it that much. So end up doing that. And then Swashbuckler came out like, oh, hey, now there's a th something that sounds like it's fun to play. So I respect from there. So with nothing going on that I want to do, I'm going to switch characters again. We'll bring Shaw back in. While this is loading, I'm going to check my phone. Oh, my interview is tomorrow, not today, Mom. Thank you. All right. So what did I do already? I did some House D stuff. We did House K stuff and Evening Star stuff. What is there else to do? Oh, of course. Of course. Yep, honey, that's what I'm thinking. I'll get everything capped and then I'll worry about where I'm going to end up and all the appropriate feats and epic feats and all that. Yeah, why is a men job interview? I've been interviewing several places. Why am I here? I don't want to go here. Um, trying to get a job. So I was let go from my previous job a couple months ago. Apparently I'm interviewing with the VP tomorrow. So there's that. I don't know, Bonnie, though. The thing I don't know is if I'm going to do another life here on, or on my bard. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to stay with. Um, Stormreach guards huddle at their barricades. The stench of brimstone permeates the Just stay at cap, or if I'm going to epic reincarnate or what. But I don't think I'm going to choose reincarnate, so we'll see. Thanks. Appreciate that. Both Wiseman and Bonnie. Um, it's my third interview with this company, and it's with the VP, so maybe that's a good sign. I don't know. I've got three places that I've interviewed at that I haven't heard back from as far as yes or no, this being the third. Um, so it's kind of annoying that I've got three in process in flight here and none of them have committed one way or the other. I emailed them all, all three of them, I think last week and said, hey, what's going on? Haven't heard from you. Came in for that interview, you know, enjoyed it. Thank you. What are the next steps? Can we get moving? And this is the only one who wrote back at all. And they called me and said, yeah, yeah, actually, we had a meeting because we haven't been doing much as far as the um, getting anything moving on the open position. So let me meet with the team, blah, blah, blah. And evidently, she met with them and said, yeah, I want you to see, come in and meet with the VP. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. It's a fun day. SO works from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then goes to the new job from 2 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Meanwhile, I've got to board the dog, and, or daycare of the dog, and uh, have an interview. So, it'll be fun. Well, I think I'm kind of blah about with all three of these jobs are that they're in the same area towards downtown. It's like half hour commute and good traffic. Blah. I don't like commutes. So, but they're the only three that are really biting on my resume, so. The telecommuting jobs were not at all. Those are the ones I was trying to get. So, time to take whatever I can get, basically. Any of these three jobs are sound like they could be fun and interesting. They all have different perks, different benefit kind of stuff. Um, but they're basically in the same area, so it's not a big deal as far as which one commute-wise. And we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with the dog during the time we're both working. Thankfully, I'm still on my severance pay, so I'm not hurting for cash at the moment. So I can afford to wait, but if I couldn't afford to wait, I'd be really upset with these people. <laughs> All of them. I understand you want to try to get the right person, but you got to realize people are wanting to get the job quickly, and the more you drag it out, the more likely they're going to be Picked up by somebody else. Or go work elsewhere. Something to fill the time. Get some income. And not be available for interviews. Luckily, I, I'm available pretty much all day, any day, so. Well, the VP schedule is blah blah blah. Yeah, I can do that. Executives tend to have big busy schedules, in my experience. So we'll see. Hopefully it goes well. I would hope that at least two of them get back to me around the same time, so I can at least compare. But if not, I may just have to take the first offer. And, you know, that just may be what happens. I'm presuming I get at least one offer out of these three. I can't imagine I wouldn't. Just hate to have that feeling of, oh, should I take this offer? 
then the next day somebody calls me, oh, by the way, we're going to send you an offer. Well, you know what? Too late. Maybe I would prefer to offer, maybe not, but in any case, she waited too long. Hey, I'm ready to level. How about that? Let me just go take my level. <laughs> Come back in here. It's level 26, so that's a uh, higher level Thunderforged Axe, isn't it? So yeah, stuff going on. Oh, I meant to mention, I know there's some people who stream that are on. I've been watching this guy, he's uh, the Skoogie. T-H-E-S-K-U-G-G-I. And uh, He's been doing, I think it's on Saturdays or Sundays, he's been doing a streamer tips stream. He's got some interesting stuff to say, some interesting viewpoints on all sorts of stuff. Gear, interacting with viewers, hiring view bots, excuse me, follow bots and all that stuff. Um, and they're on his uh, Twitch pages, VODs, or his YouTube. And, uh, It's worth checking out. He's got like two or three microphones, two or three different webcams, a couple different computers, the green screen behind him, which is hilarious because the, the green tint that he uses for the green screen and Mountain Dew are the same chroma key, so it looks like he's drinking nothing out of a two liter bottle when he drink, takes a swig of his. Dr. Gro, not Dr. Gro, not do. It's funny. But yeah. If you're looking for a more regular show about tips, it's, uh, I think it's maybe two months old. He does it weekly, so there's about eight episodes or so. It's interesting. I picked up some stuff from him. Don't always get to watch it live, but uh, the VODs are nice too. And he takes questions, so if you do have questions, tune in during his live. And you can see that. Yeah, looking for jobs is horrible. It's pretty much throwing your a piece of paper at a brick wall over and over and over again and hoping somebody picks up and reads it. A lot of these companies do not contact you back. I've had several companies, some really big ones and some not as big, that all I get is automated stuff. Oh, thanks for your submission, blah, blah, blah. Somebody will look at it, blah, blah, blah. And then something like, we didn't choose you, we selected somebody else, something like that. Just a second. Cat's getting into this stuff again. So, yeah. Something I noticed, though, is I've worked mostly for the same company and uh, gone there and back a couple times and gotten a pay raise each time, which is dumb that you have to leave a company and come back to it to get a pay raise. But anyway. That was the easiest way to get a pay raise, was to go somewhere else and come back. But uh, they let me go this time, and I'm, the more I'm looking at these other places and seeing what benefits they offer, and just even just their basic philosophy and how they approach things, I'm like, you know what? That company was not really a great company to work for. But I was there just because you know I already had the job. It was easy. It was comfortable. And now I'm starting to think, you know, there's other stuff besides that. That's more beneficial. Maybe we should be looking for some things like one of them has bi-weekly massages in your chair. You're just sitting there working and somebody comes up once or once a week or once or whatever it is, twice a week, and uh, you want a massage? Sure. Um, 
others have, you know, they'll bring a beer in on a Friday one day. Every so often have a happy hour right there at work. Others have other things going on. I was at one interview and a bunch of school kids came in for a tour of the place. While I was there in the interview, I was in like a pretty much a fishbowl, all glass conference room right there up at front, front. So it was kind of distracting to have all these kids traipsed around, but you know, there's all sorts of things that companies do and the way they approach things and stuff, that culture thing that, uh, yeah, kind of seeing any of these companies have better, uh, some better benefits and culture things that are really impressive than uh, the place I used to work a lot for 10 plus years. Are the damsels on tonight? I believe the damsels are on tonight. I don't remember if it's an off week or not. I didn't see anything on Twitter, but I didn't really check either. Hoping maybe that my buddy would be on for Shadowrun Online tonight. We can get further. I got my pistols to level 10, or to level 9, out of level 10 last night, so I'm excited. I'm going to get through a few more quests and get those pistols up to level 10 so I can really do some damage. Welcome back, balloon guy. stuff and things and stuff and things and stuff I think this will probably be my last quest tonight We're only, what, halfway through it-ish. Maybe a little more. Two-thirds, three-fifths, whatever. But, yeah, I'd like to... Maybe get some shadow run in. Maybe just do something else for a while. Get off the computer for a bit. Kind of depends on what else is going on, but I do have fun doing this. I enjoy it. So many other things I want to do. I want to practice my juggling. I haven't done that in a while. It's kind of crappy outside. I really want to get clubs down. Just haven't been able to get them down yet. I haven't. Well, I, ever since I hit myself in the head a couple times with my club, juggling clubs, I uh, haven't uh, gotten back to it. So. I didn't know they had other clubs that were more padded. I got these. And I also, oh, jerk, destroying one of my potions. At some point, I need to get back to doing more tutorial YouTube videos. I want to get more into some overlay stuff and um, using IRC or Chatty or something. Got a couple other things poking around my head that I was thinking of doing. But 
uh, yeah. Yeah, but if you want the technical stuff about your sound settings and your view settings and why do you choose a lower bitrate and all that stuff, the Skoogie is goes over that in pretty good detail. That's why I was recommending that particular person slash channel for that stuff. Oh, and I want to get that new job, so I want to get put together a new computer, and maybe a desktop, finally. I've had laptops for the past 10 years, maybe? Got rid of my desktops, so I'm a pure laptop. A lot because, you know, I moved around a lot, I, I was traveling quite a bit. Uh, it was just a lot easier to have my primary machine be a laptop. But I'm missing the heaps of storage space and other stuff you can do. I really want to play DDO and Triple Monitor Glory. And I think I found my next monitors. I was looking at the newest, uh, one of the PC magazines, and they had a one in there that looked reasonably priced and nicely specced, so I'll probably get those. Oh, I'm being lazy. I'll just kill him. I really wasn't used out of the Whatever that ability is on four. The divine one. But at least it got him out of the way quicker. I hate when he does all teleporting. It's annoying. Oh, now I got another two minutes to film. Okay, so these yogurt cuffle pretzels are awesome. Man, these are good. Raspberry yogurt crow pretzels. I think blueberry one's really good. But I think the pumpkin spice ones were the best. I'm a sucker for pumpkin spice. Have the um, Jif whipped peanut butter in pumpkin spice flavor. Awesome with uh, celery sticks. I actually put some of that on my uh, cinnamon rice cake earlier. It was pretty good. Good, good stuff. Might have some celery. Hmm. Sounds good. Oh, come on, devils. You need to beat your butts. Devils. The great thing about Orthons is you don't have to come find them, they'll come find you. Ways of that, one more boss, I can be done. Let's see who else is on at the moment. Because we're going to send everybody over to somebody after this quest. Oh, Scoogie's on now, that's cool. 
so let me point you to him since I've been talking about him. He's, I think, playing CSGO at the moment, but again, on a weekend he has a show where he does streamer chips. And he uses OBS and XSplit, both. He's familiar with both. And then, yeah, I know. But, uh, okay, wanted to get Scoogie up there, so those of you who are streamers might be interested in following him at some point. And then we also have, that's not what I want, link address, there it is. Another person playing DDO. And then, of course, we've got Gemini. I would recommend. He has a fun stream. He plays DDO most days. He's fun to chat with, listen to, and he got his chair. If y'all remember, a couple weeks ago we were talking about chairs for streaming. Um, he said the most comfortable one he ever had was this one his parents had from some job where he had to sit all day. And he ended up getting it. So he's got that chair now. He's very comfortable while he streams. So that's cool. One of these times I'm going to try standing up the whole time while I was streaming. Gotta get my standing desk set up for streaming um, and all that. But uh, yeah. It's important to be comfortable, but be able to move around and stuff, especially if you stream for long, long periods of time. You gotta be able to take breaks and walk around. Not just sit the whole time. And I Casper's on too. He was doing a uh, subathon that was ridiculous over the weekend. I don't know what the t final total will end up being, something like 40 hours, probably. It was wild. I was watching some of it. And, uh,. So he had a six hour timer, and then every time somebody subbed, it would add 10 minutes to the clock. And I saw it get down, to, it actually hit zero, and then a couple seconds later, some people's subs came in, so he allowed it and kept going. But it was pretty awesome to watch somebody streaming for that long and keep getting that many subs and all that. So. He races uh, Binding of Isaac speedruns, and uh, that's mostly what he does now, although he's done some other things too. And Dworkin's been on streaming, DDO, um, somebody else knew. Dworkin's been off and on for a while, but uh, somebody else knew was streaming the other day. I started following them, and I don't remember who it was off the top of my head. And if you want to stream DDO, stream DDO. I've got some tutorials on my YouTube about streaming DDO in particular. Uh, just getting started kind of stuff. Getting it up and running and doing a little bit of stuff here and there. Like some of the stuff I have on screen, all that. So if you're interested, by all means, check that out. With that, I'm going to go ahead and put my self-promo scene up. So thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. I'm here most Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Central. That may change if I get a job here in the near future. I may have to go later just because of that commute and all that. But uh, for the moment, that's what I've got. 
stream for a couple hours. Um, not sure what next the week's theme is going to be either. I may go back to soloing. I may do something in particular. We'll see. But I uh, will probably be streaming more Shadowrun Online as well, as time permits. And uh, yeah, check out everybody else on the stream. Damsels tonight, I believe they're on tonight. I'm not 100% sure on that. But the schedule is below the video, or once this stops, it'll be in the uh, image that's there instead of the video. Thank you all, board boat. See you later. Titan, Bonnie, Moosey, Skunk, Wizen Man, Mist, everybody else who's on. Do appreciate watching, appreciate follows, subscriptions, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time. Good night.